Welcome to this instructional video on Speaking and Listening Performance Indicator Number 1 for the Common Core Standards, Preparing for a dis Group Discussion. This presentation is from the Common Core Standards in Speaking and Listening. This covers the Standard Performance Indicator Number 1. At the end of this session, you will be able to recognize the different kinds of group discussions, select topics for group discussion, and plan for your own group discussion. Before we start the lesson, let us answer these questions. Are you a person who can talk for hours to friends but does not know what to say in a group discussion? How do you prepare for a group discussion? What kinds of discussions do you engage yourself in? It is not difficult to transfer your small group skills to larger groups. It is just the same speaking skills we do apply for both. Let us start with what do we mean by group discussion. This is a situation that requires being informed about the topic under discussion, contributions, and of course, being a good listener. A group discussion is formed to achieve a specific common goal. The major difference between discussions from, with peers and group discussions is that it occurs when people meet for a definite purpose. It involves three or more people. There are four kinds of discussions. One is a committee. A committee is a small group of a larger organization that has been formed to discuss specific ideas and to perform a certain task. A leader is chosen to keep the discussion flowing and on target. Another is the round table discussion group. This is formed to mainly share information among the group. This term was derived from King Arthur and his knights when they met to discuss their quests. This discussion is usually a preliminary discussion held when fact gathering is needed before a formal discussion. Panels are also part of the list. It is a group of several informed people who hold a discussion with an audience present. The goal of a panel is to share opinions and points of view among the members and the audience. Each panel member prepares for the discussion in advance. Have you ever been to a symposium? A symposium is similar to a panel, but different where each member is an authority on one aspect of the topic under discussion and begins by giving a formal speech on the aspect. After the discussion, the audience may engage to an open forum to take part on the dialogue. The goal of a symposium is to give a clear picture of the problem being discussed. Now, having the knowledge on how these group discussions work, how do we choose what topics to discuss in each kind? What can be a good topic for discussion? For committees, you can engage yourself in talking about events, projects, and proposals. For roundtable discussions, you can talk about books you have read, assemblies, and even a project evaluation. An example of topics that your group can tackle on panels our deliberations, and discussions making issues and concerns. Symposiums can be about career talks or science exhibitions held in school. There are factors affecting the success of a group discussion. A topic must be one that interests everyone in the group. Also, it should be timely and interesting. Lastly, 
it should be well researched by every member of the group. Always remember that a group discussion's focus is on the topic that is timely, interesting, and one of the members are involved with and prepared to discuss. A good group discussion is carefully planned. Let's look at a good planning process. First, hold a pre-discussion meeting to determine the discussion topic. Make sure it is timely and interesting. Next, define the topic precisely. After defining, phrase the topics into questions rather than a statement. Then, make an outline of points to be discussed. You may include problems, solutions, issues, and possible actions. After this, research the topic by reading, collecting data, and as much information as possible before the discussion. If in your mind you are wondering why this is important, where is this used? How do professionals use this? Group discussions are important for a goal to be achieved. It may be to solve a problem, arrive at a decision, or answer, answer questions of the same interests. Almost every profession has group discussions of some kind. If a discussion is used in everyday life, as we regularly find ourselves having discussions among friends, family, and classmates, it is also group discussions are increasingly being used in the job market during interviews and selection procedures. Right now, for example, you can use a committee for making a project in science where it involves an exhibit or an event like proms, dances, and similar things. For roundtable discussions, examples include being in a class or a club where you discuss literary pieces in reviews. Panels. An oral presentation is an example where a discussion involves issues about current events. Examples of symposiums include a science fair where schools can invite guests to discuss topics of science and technology. They can be scientists or experts in this field. Now that you have all the knowledge regarding group discussions and how to plan for one, let us engage ourselves in this activity. First, choose a discussion topic that would be appropriate for each kind of discussion. Then, form a group of five students and plan for a roundtable discussion. Record all of your agenda for the session. What if we can't agree on what topic to choose? You can use diplomacy by casting votes in your group to arrive on a mutual topic that meets the factors of selecting a topic for a successful group discussion. Where can we find information about our topic? There are more than a handful of resources where you can collect data about your topic. You can go to the library, browse on the internet, or even do an interview of people who are experts on the matter. Is it necessary to make an outline? Can we just talk about it on the spot? Outlines can help keep you on track and keep you on the goal and focus during the discussion. You don't want to lose focus on the day itself of your discussion. It will also help you to know what you are talking about. Why do we need to prepare for a discussion? 
It will be a best practice to prepare for your discussions so that you can keep your discussions free-flowing and it will make your audience put their attention to your topic. Do we assign roles like leader and recorder? Yes, the leader or recorder will take notes on the proceedings and make a report to the organization of the events discussed at the meeting. Teachers expect students to come to discussions prepared, have read and researched the material under study, explicitly draw on the preparation by referring to evidence from texts, research the topic or issue to stimulate a thoughtful, well-reasoned exchange of ideas. We have come to the end of our session. In this session, you have learned different kinds of group discussions and their characteristics, selecting timely and interesting topics for group discussion, and how to plan for a group discussion. To know more and to help you in your discussions, here are some resources that you can look at. Selecting topics for discussions, group discussions in general, and book discussion question samples. Be sure to return to www.ondemandinstruction.com for more instructional videos, podcasts, and materials. We update the site weekly. Good luck with your work!